Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you is Bad Batch figures. I never got around to doing a review of the original Bad Batch figures, and that's on me. But I'm hoping that we'll take however long this is going to take. I don't have this scripted. I'm just going to talk at the camera and get all my feelings out. What we have here are the core four Bad Batch team members that aren't Omega because she's not out yet. Uh, which means she, if, if I ever do her, she'll get her own video. But for now, I've got the four main adult Bad Batch members here. We're going to look at them and also take a look at their original versions of their figures. So what I want to do is kind of start with what I feel was the least changed figure and, and move up. Hasbro released the Bad Batch figures. And then here we are about you know roughly two years later. And now we have the season two or the mercenary versions of, of theirs. And they've, over the course of the time, of time, they have changed the way their outfits look. So I, I wanted to kind of show the differences, you know, of the toys. Is it accurate? Is it not accurate? What do I think about it? Things like that. Yeah, let's just get into it. You know, I don't want to, don't want to talk your ears off. If you don't know much about Bad Batch, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's really a possibility. But just a really, really brief history. These started off as a concept for Clone Wars. It got scrapped and then reused as the Stormtroopers, the Task Force 99. And then that was popular and they were bringing back Clone Wars for a seventh season. So they reintroduced these uh, based off essentially the popularity of Task Force 99 in the, the comics. And then, you know, Bad Batch is back and they're basically their own grandfather. They, they exist because they existed almost in concept and, and then that got reused and then that was popular. So they're like, well, let's just do this. That that's it. That's the story. So you know, if you ever if you're curious about that, you can you can go read Task Force ninety nine and some comics. But uh, Bad Batch here has um, a little arc in the seventh season of Clone Wars where they get Echo as a member who wasn't originally a member, and then there's two seasons of the show. It's fine. The show's not my favorite. It's not mind blowing like Rebels or or you know some seasons of Clone Wars. But it's it's fine. It's it's Star Wars stuff to watch, and and that's about you know. I mean, it's got some good. It's got some good heart to it, I guess. There there are things I like about it, but it definitely. I don't think it will stand the test of time. Other than it is gorgeous looking, and I do like the characters. I like the Bad Batch. So let's get started here. That's that's enough talking. I'll put a timestamp somewhere um, <laughs> for when you know the review actually starts. And let's start here with. Eco, uh, you know, it's, that's how, that's how uh, Omega or Omega pronounces it. She pronounces them all weird. Eco, Teak, Hunta, Rika, because she has a New Zealand accent, and that's that's how they say those things. But uh, again, to do this, we're going to compare him to the original release. Again, a, a figure I never really talked about in the first place, but this was. One of my favorite figures when it came out. I've done a couple of videos showcasing it, but I've never done a, a proper review. Now we're gonna mostly focus on this one and then use it in the context. You know, look at this one in context. There is one thing before we get into it. I do not have his little arm thing on there. He didn't, he never has it in the show. Apparently it was going to be a thing. Um, I mean, even the Hot Toys version has it. So it made it pretty pretty late in the development before they they just seem to have scrapped it completely. So I, I don't have that, it's in the box. And, and for this, I didn't think about it honestly until right now that I didn't have it. And so I'm, I'm just, again, I'm doing this on the fly. I don't have any of this planned. I don't have a script. We're just talking. This is gonna be one of those videos. It's like 40 minutes of Bad Batch or let's talk about you know Bad Batch for 40 minutes. Anyways, so let's take a look here with Echo. So he has essentially, the exact same outfit on from from season one or season one to season two. Uh, the helmet is the same. It is repainted. They all lost their their nine nine. This right here, nine nine. It's a Brooklyn nine nine reference. If you, uh, anyways. So this is the Arabesh 
uh, for for nine nine there, and they all have this skull um, right here, and that's supposed to be you know that's the identifier for for their squad. Um, they don't have that, and that's okay because they don't need it. Because by season two, obviously, they're not part of the New Republic because it's or the, the Republic, I should say, because it's dead, uh, and they're not part of the Empire because you know um, they all got that taken care of. They don't have to worry about the inhibitor chips. I know Wreckers started to work and Crosshairs worked for a while, but eventually in the first season, they all got their inhibitor chips taken out. So they don't have that. So they're just, they're just mercenaries, hence the mercenary gear. So um, we're missing the detailing of the 9-9 on his helmet, uh, but it is the same helmet regardless. It's just got a couple little paint variations. His shoulders are different. They are, they're not the same sculpt. They are similar, but they do have some extra lining that, that's physically sculpted on there that's not here. So this piece is gone. It's got a whole new piece, obviously with some coloring because they wanted to, to get away from the, the drab grays and blacks and they're doing some lighter colors with some oranges. The chest piece is the same. This middle piece is the same. What's different though is the lower half of his body. He has a completely different skirt on. Now it's minor changes, but it is a different skirt. You can see from the belt here, he's got these little more traditional, like I think these are ammo canisters or something. Um, these are more just pouches right here. Uh, and then the, the skirt, the, the comma, uh, is molded completely differently. Like um, there's no, there's no thing here like there is here, although these big pieces are the same. Um, there's these little molded pieces down here that are absent from here. Uh, on the back, we're kind of in the same thing. Uh, so it's, it's similar, but it's definitely not the same. They both still have a blaster holster on their, hand, uh, on their side for their good hand, because they only have the one good hand. That's one of the things about Echo is that when they found him, he had a data uh, scomp port for a hand here, and that kind of made Echo essentially, he's the computer hacker guy, which is weird because Tech is also a computer hacker guy and better at it. There's many thing, times in the series where they're like, oh, we need Tech for this because he's better at forging things or, or breaking encryption, but like, he's, he's a computer. <laughs> What? I'm a computer. There is even an episode where he pretends to be a droid. Stop all the downloading. But yeah, that's so you know that's that's normal. That's it. That's all there is. Uh, it's mostly just coloring and some sculpted differences there. Uh, on the bottom though, we do have completely different legs. These are more traditional clone trooper legs right here, versus these which are I don't know. They're pretty unique. Uh, no, I don't think anyone else had the, at least these knee pads. The the thighs might be the same, the lower lower legs and you know feet might be the same, but these knee pads were nice, big, and chunky. Um, They're kind of weird. So he doesn't have those anymore. He's traded them in for just some smaller looking knee pads there. The big problem with this one blaster here, and this is why this is probably my least favorite figure of them all right now, is that he, he has the one blaster, which is good, you know? It, it's just, it's a, it's a normal, it was a DC-15, I think, blaster. It fits in the hand, but it's, it's not sculpted to hold a blaster. The, the trigger finger is not there. It's, it's one, one sculpted piece. Now you can, if you want to, you can make a little incision and cut this right here uh, and try to, you know, get the finger into there, but has bro we shouldn't have to do that i don't like permanently modifying my figures so you can't you know it's, it's changed permanently I, i'm worried about you know cutting wrong or whatever or things breaking off because I've, I've made it more prone to breakage i just i don't like that it's dumb that he holds his blaster like this in the only hand he has so you can't even put it in this hand because there's no hand here so it just looks weird. Like at no point does this look right. That's just, that's not what that's supposed to look like. Um, and this is just a huge problem I have. It's, it's a small problem, but it's a huge problem I have personally. He does not come with the same adapter for this, the, the gun hand thing, the claw 
that he has, he does not come with that. So that is one piece that the new version is missing that the old version has. So just keep that in mind. If you are looking for it, you don't see it because it doesn't come with it. Now they both come with the exact same backpack. Uh, it is, you know, it's, it's painted differently, of course, to match the new look, I guess, which is not that different. And you might notice that it's actually very, very similar to Tech's backpack. I'm just gonna point that out here. It's not I mean, exactly the same. There are some minor sculpting differences, mostly here on this little piece, but uh, it, it is largely just the same, the same backpack with some minor differences. The only thing I don't like, and the other major difference between this one and Tech's backpack is how it connects. It connects via this little pinhole. I hate this. Uh, in fact, when I put this on this tech, um, I kind of missed a little bit and it bent it. But uh, you know, it was just annoying that you have to be a little careful of, of how you stick it in because it is just that one connection point. And if you're careless about it, um, you, could, you could break it. Another thing is these antennas. They are removable. And I'll get into how I know that later but uh, they, they can come off, they can break. So it's just, just something to keep in mind. Uh, and then, you know, before we move on to the next figure, of course, I have to show off his, uh, his helmet. So the helmet on Echo is unique because it incorporates the back of his head. He has one of these little, you know, like low bot uh, back head braces. So we've got a very pale Echo because of being stuck in a computer room for years, you know, plugged into a computer, made him, it, it largely zapped all the color out of his skin. The back of his, you know, helmet has got a big old chunk taken out of it because it matches that. I really like that. I think they did a good job of making his helmet incorporated onto his head. Uh, there's a little spot there that, that comes off and opens up so you can get it around very easily. It fits very flush and, uh, Echo here has a fantastic face and it's, it's the same. I feel like the paint differences between their faces, uh, I don't really think there are any. I think they both look pretty good. Maybe the new one's a little bit better, but I feel like they both still look good. I kind of like the eyebrows better on the original one than I do on the new one, but they look good. I mean, it looks good. There's you know, a little paint. Actually, there's paint here that isn't paint here, but that's probably because it matches, you know, his new paint scheme with this color kind of all over the place. But he's got these little, these little knobs on his head. They are painted as well. So yeah, it looks good. I, I love it. You can't go wrong. That's Echo. So let's move on to Tech. Tech in season two became one of my favorite ones. He's sort of the, the Donatello of the group, you know, if, if they have Ninja Turtle likenesses, he is, he's the Donatello. I don't know who Echo would really be. Maybe Mike, no, I don't think, I think Michelangelo or, or Raphael really fit Echo. He's, he's kind of Donatello Jr. But this is the main original smart guy tech uh i mean his name is tech they have very fitting names uh aside from echo who had that name before he was part of bad batch tech here guess what he's good at it's it's tech and just like on echo he is basically even more than echo he is the same figure just with a different paint job he comes with the exact same outfit the same armor the same pads, the same arms, the same chest, the same belt, the same pants, the same legs, everything's the same. He just has, in my opinion, a much better color option than he does, uh, the original one does. Um, I love the colors on this, and in every way, I think that this is a better figure than this. As far as his accessories go, he uh, he's got these little tools that fit in his bag. You know, he's got a little wrench thing, a little spanner, a little stick, I guess. They both have that. They're both about the same quality and they both also come with the same DC-15 blaster that Echo came with. This is gonna be a recurring theme. We have this nice little blaster right here. Um, the problem I have with this is that 
he doesn't have a place to store it. And I wish he did. I wish he had a place to store it when he's not you know, using it. Otherwise, he's got to put it down or he's got to hold it and that's it. And I feel like I feel like he would have a place to store a pistol because he's not going to be running around holding the pistol. The Hot Toys has, I believe, I believe he has a holster right here. Um, and I believe in, sometimes in the animation model he has it there. And sometimes, I don't know, I think it's missing. They really should have put a blaster holster right here for for the blaster that he comes with. Like I said, otherwise he's just holding it. Uh, as far as, you know, his other accessory, he does have a backpack, but you know, just, it comes off like normal. Now the weird thing about the tech here that the original tech didn't have to do is that his antenna actually came off. Like, like they came unassembled and I had to assemble it myself which was weird. And this one kind of was hard to get into and it bent a little bit down here to get in. It was really annoying to fit these in. I don't know why they came unassembled. You know, my first thought was, oh, they don't want them to break in the packages or whatever, but Echoes came assembled and Echoes are the same. Echo has the same backpack. He has the same antenna. I don't understand what happened there, but it's, it's how it worked out. The difference also is that his backpack has this like T plug where Echoes has just that little kind of peg. Uh, this is a little bit better because it just plugs right in. I like this a little bit better because it doesn't, it doesn't waddle side to side. The last and biggest thing here is of course the head. We're gonna, um, his helmet has a little visor that goes up and down like that. That's cool, but on this one, for some reason, they have made the decision to sculpt the goggles on the helmet, and Tech in person has no goggles. Now, I have been using a pair of goggles. I believe I've been using Princess Leia's goggles, the Hoth one to put over here. They don't go anywhere when, you're, when you have to have put the helmet on. I don't like it. <laughs> so, Princess Leia's goggles can go on him. It looks okay, but one of Tech's biggest things is he has goggles. He's got glasses. It was awful that the, this Tech didn't. And you can't even say, oh, that's that might be, you know, how he originally looked. That might be how the, you know, a lot of times Hasbro will get early concept art and things like that. But no, not for this. Tech existed way before, you know, years before this came out. You know, we saw him in 2020 and he had those. And I, I don't know, I, I don't believe that one for a second. There's no way. They fixed it. That's one of the nice things is they, they did fix it for the uh, updated version. So you have to be a little careful with it because the, the glasses are sculpted on and they fit just in this helmet. So to get it off, you kind of have to just bend it around a little bit. I haven't found a good, easy version other than just being super careful about getting it off and kind of pulling it from the back forward, but, but you want to kind of pull it away from the glasses first. So here we have Tech and he's wearing his glasses and you can see here the glasses part has been cut away. Now, getting it back on is a lot easier. It just slides back on uh, and because of the nature of it, uh, you don't have to really worry about breaking goggles or anything like that. But uh, here we have Tech with goggles on. Now, the, the goggles are see-through. That's a transparent plastic there. So you can actually see his eyes. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can actually see his eyes through there. And I like that. I think that looks great. And I mean, it's, it's about as good as you can get. Uh, other than Hasbro, this would have been a lot easier. And, and Echo would have been a lot easier if you just did alternate helmets. I don't know why you're obsessed with removable helmets. Alternate heads, alternate helmets would just make all of this so much easier just to be able to swap their heads with the helmets. You don't have to worry about sculpting glasses. You don't have to worry about sculpting, you know, like half a helmet or whatever, even though that is actually, it's accurate to what his helmet looked like. I still feel like you could sculpt better heads if you didn't have to worry about the helmet physically going on the head and that's just a weird option that you have. So the next we are going to look at Rekka. Rekka here, the original Rekka was I believe 
my number one figure of 2021. If he wasn't my number one, he was one of them, but I'm pretty sure he was my number one figure of 2021. I love Wrecker. I do not understand how he peg warmed so hard. Maybe they just produced way too many of them and people were still buying them, but there were just a lot left over. I don't know, but I, I just absolutely love Wrecker. I love his personality. He's basically, I would say he's the Michelangelo of the bunch, but maybe also uh, the Raphael, because he is kind of that, um, I guess Crosshair is closer to the Raphael, but he, the newer versions of Raphael have also been kind of a bigger bruiser type dude. He's, he's very much rise of the TMNT uh, Raphael, but uh, anyway, he's a big guy. He's got a bigger body than the other ones, because even though he's a clone, these have been modified, and that's kind of their, their shtick. And, and the reason he's deluxe is, you know, because he's big. That's, that's why. They're like, he's big. We can get away with making him deluxe. So they did. Just right off the bat, I don't mind that they made him deluxe, but I really, I really do wish they'd given him, you know, used that extra budget that they undoubtedly had for making him deluxe to give him alternate hands. The fact that he can't, put his fist together like he does. Like he can fudge it, but it's it's not the same. He really needed extra hands. It's not even up for debate. He, he needs fist hands. I don't care about any other hands, but for Wrecker here specifically, he needs fist hands. Now, of course, uh, the original one would have the 9-9, the skull, uh, although the original, the new one also kind of has a skull here. He didn't really get rid of that. Uh, but the skull here on the side, is uh is gone uh, in favor of you know he's got some panel lining and some some neon striping he's got racing stripes i guess uh but for the most part these are all the same pieces like this is different from from this uh so that's a new piece but his arms are di are the same the belt and the chest is different it's similar but it is different so and, and then of course the waist is different because the big thing here is that this one has a holster for his blaster, whereas the original one did not. There was no place for it. Now, the way this works uh, is that there's just a little, there's a little piece here that just slips right out of this pinhole. You put, you know, this around here. I've seen, you know, you can put it kind of however you want. Um, you can put it around just the middle section. I've also seen people kind of put it into the, the holster or the, the trigger part. Uh, it just depends on, you know, how how low you want it slung or how you want it slung. It's it's up to you. There's no instructions. There's no real wrong way to do it. But that just kind of fits in there, and it's all held on by friction. I haven't really been able to get it to, like, peg in, so it, it comes off pretty easily. He has this new piece that's a holster that this one did not have. Uh, but the other thing about this blaster is that it is twice the size of his original blaster here. Let me... Uh, I mean, look look at that. That's not even a comparison. This is a little toy. This is a big boy. There's a there's a big difference there in the blaster. So not only does he have a spot for it now, it's bigger, and it's you know it's it's more in line with Wrecker in general. So I like that. He does also have the knife on his leg. It's the same knife. It's the same size. It's it's even the same color. Um, the only difference is this one has a little splotch. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. But this is on the new one, and it has a little splotch there. So I don't know if that is, a, is a, a QC issue with mine or if it's supposed to have that. But it does, and that's it. Uh, and then, of course, he does have his backpack. It's the same backpack. It's not really different. Just got, you know, the same kind of coloring that the rest of the body has. Um, there's nothing... I wish there was something you could do with these backpacks. Like, I wish there was weapon storage on the backpacks. Like, this would have been a really cool way to, to have him store his weapons somewhere on the backpack. But, um, you know, whatever, it's fine. And just the, the last thing here with Wrecker is he obviously does also have a removable helmet because they all have distinct faces and you need them. And Wrecker's probably has the best face of all of the Bad Batch. In fact, maybe even all of Black Series. I love the personality in the face here. I love the expression. They did a good job with the paint, the one eye that doesn't work, the scarring on the side of the head. Like it just, it just looks so, so good. 
They just did such a good job with it. No notes as far as Wrecker goes with his head. Uh, it's, it's the best. They just did such a good job. Um, so that's Wrecker. That's season two Wrecker. And I like him a lot. But what I liked about him the most was his price. Because even though the original was a deluxe figure, you know, $32, $33 or whatever, all of these Black Series Bad Batch figures are Walmart exclusive. All four of these that I've been showing off are Walmart exclusive. And they're all the same price. They're all $27, $28 or whatever, which is you know, a little bit more than a normal figure. $25 is the normal figure price now. So they're, they're a little, a little no, more north of that, but instead of being $34, he's only, he's the same price. So, and he still comes in the same big package. So it's not even like they fit him in a smaller package or whatever. He comes in the same deluxe package. He's just deluxe, he's, but he's not deluxe priced. And, and I like that. And that leads us to probably one of the most different ones. Whoops, Hunter. Mercenary Gear Hunter. Now, uh, here we have him with the original release. Uh, him and Crosshairs are probably the two most sought after. They got kind of a weird release in the middle, and, and I think it was at a point where no one was really caring about the Bad Batch. So, like, I didn't have any trouble getting him when I got him. I ordered him, you know, when he came out, easy peasy. I don't know why so many people had a hard time finding him or getting him, and now they're looking for him. Or if they're just, you know, kind of, kind of Johnny come lately, <laughs> collectors, which is fine. That's fine. Everyone starts at a different spot, but uh, he is, he and Crosshair are the, are the two hard to get ones. So some, you know, some major differences here. Obviously he has a scarf now. Um, he has the same helmet, but it is painted differently. His shoulders are completely new. Um, these are completely different shoulders, not even just repainted, just different. His chest here is the same, but the torso piece here is different. The arms are different. They have these like wrappings on them. Um, the chest piece or the waist piece, I should say, is different as well. A lot of paint on here. And he now has, instead of his, you know, regular kind of assault rifle here, whatever it is, um, he now sports the dual DC 15s, kind of like arc troopers have where, or Rex has. Uh, where they're just kind of on his hips on these little holsters and that looks nice, but but just like all the other figures <laughs> He does not have a sculpted hand to hold both properly and that sucks None of these do and, it, and it's just it's a real big issue Hasbro like it's just just every every hand should have a, a sculpted trigger finger. It just makes it so much easier I don't know why you have such an aversion to having and, and some some figures do there are figures like uh i think the the mandalorians have two trigger fingers i'm pretty sure the uh cat banes have two trigger fingers like you know it's just it's weird um the other thing that they've got here is uh, he does have a knife he's got a little little knife holster now the interesting things about these knives the original knife was too big so it's got this like data like i think it's a vibro knife but it's got some some painting on there it looks like a looks like a circuit board they what they literally did was they have the amount of plastic that's used even down to the handle um and i i feel like i feel like it was too much i feel like they needed to do something in the middle like this is too thick this looks like a butter knife this is just too thin and it kind of feels flimsy like they just really needed to find a middle ground but we have two very big extremes. Like this is as thin as it can get, I think while still maintaining its structure. And, and this is just too thick. It's just a little, like this blade's too short and that's too thick and just everything looks a little weird. But the knives fit just so right in the little holster on his arm. Uh, he's got his backpack. It's got the same kind of plug that Tech and uh, Wrecker both use, this little T-plug. The, the backpack doesn't do anything special, doesn't hold anything. Um, and if you're wondering about this kind of body construction, if it looks familiar, that's because if you want to get this figure, it also comes in vanilla. This is the clone commando, which is also the same body that they used for Delta Squad. All of those figures 
Also basically just use Hunter's body. Crosshairs mostly use Hunter's body. And you can tell if they're using Hunter's body because on the commando, you'll notice on his arm, there's a little hole right here. And that's because they, when they molded this, they molded it to have this. These are the only two figures that they've made that take advantage of that. All the other figures they've made, and they've made more figures that don't than do, they all have a little hole right here, which is kind of weird. I, I get reuse and stuff, but like they could have just molded a different, a different forearm and just used it for the commandos that don't need it. Anyways, if you want to get it, this in vanilla, you can. It's right there. But then finally, of course, his hel his helmet comes off, and he does have his traditional kind of hunter look. Now, my first instinct when I saw Hunter was, oh, I get it. He's Rambo, but he's not. He's not Rambo. He is Billy from Predator. That's who he is. I'm sure they wanted some Rambo. You know, Rambo's probably still in there too, but he is 100% more Billy than Rambo. And that's just a fact. That's just how it is. I don't care if you like it or not. That's, that's the truth. When they were making Hunter here, they made Billy. They both look the same. He's got his little skull tattoo on his face. Let me see if I can zoom in on that or, or clear it up a little bit. Again, I feel like it could have looked better had they done a completely separate head sculpt rather than, because they have to kind of flatten the hair features and stuff to get the helmet to fit around. And, and that's an issue. That's, that's a big issue with when they have helmets on figures is you can't have bombastic head sculpts with hair that comes like over the bandana and stuff too much because it's still got to fit a helmet over it. And, and that's a big issue. And I really, I really think it would have worked better had they just had the helmet and the hair or the head separate where you just swapped them out rather than put the helmet on. But Hunter is good. These are the mercenary gear Bad Batch figures based on season two that are Walmart exclusive. Oh, by the way, this guy is also Walmart exclusive. If you're looking for season two Omega, she did get announced, but she's not part of this wave. Don't waste gas driving around, you know, Walmart looking for her. I mean, you can pre-order from walmart.com if you want to, but they're like, they're better places for it. I would, I would try not to pre-order from Walmart if I could. In fact, I was really, really seriously worried about not getting these from Walmart because, you know, these went up for pre-order back on May 4th of this year. As of the recording of this, that is four months ago because it's September. I had to replace my card in the meantime and Walmart does not let you change your card. They will not. They won't let you change your address once an order is made and they won't let you change your card and all of these were sold out. So I couldn't just reorder them. Thankfully, for whatever reason, they shipped them to me anyways. And then just today sent me an email saying, hey, your card didn't go through. We need you to pay for these. And I seriously thought about not paying for them, but I didn't want them to like, I don't know, block me somehow, like block my online ordering ability. I don't have any problem paying for my toys, but for a while I got these for free, which is nice, but that's not the case anymore. But I will say thanks to Walmart for shipping them out anyway, but no thanks in the first place because that shouldn't have been an issue. You should have just let me change my card on file. That's a very easy thing to do. Literally every other online retailer that I know of allows you to change a card on file on an order. If in between you ordering a figure and it comes out, you've made any kind of life-changing decision, you're just boned. Uh, or they make a mistake and send it to you anyway, in which case, you know, th thanks, I guess, but I shouldn't have to worry. It was stress I didn't need, but I eventually got them, and honestly, I'm happy I have them. I like these overall better than their original counterparts. I know these aren't as iconic looking as their the originals are, but there are upgrades on these figures that I like better. I mean, but I guess you can use these if you want to, to, to change the originals. Like you can pop uh, his head off here 
and and put it on the original and i guess use this it's gonna be a little wrong because it's gonna i guess not that wrong though but i mean it's gonna have these little these little details on here that the, it shouldn't have but it's not that bad he's not really an upgrade either way he's just more of a side grade he's not an upgrade but i like his look better he's an upgrade in the sense that he has a place to holster his weapon and his weapons bigger but tech here <laughs> tech is the big upgrade and i like that better but overall i do like these i like the look of these on my shelf i'm happy that i have them um and and that's that's it you know thanks for so much for watching let me know down the downstairs area what did what did you think of this do you have them i know this has been a long winded just me talking at the camera and you listening and looking at toys and i know there are people out there that like these longer form videos where I'm just kind of rambling rather than scripted. Like my Darth Malgus video that I just did, that was scripted. I'd also love to thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon, just in general. All, the, all my Patreon supporters get their names on this list here. And thank you so much for, for you guys to support me there. If you want to join here, you can. Um, I, I like it that, that you do that. It does help me out for, for making these. And, um, but also just thank you for getting this far. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing if you want to. And, and, and that's it. I will, I'll see you later. Bye.